So very good morning to all the students of class plus one B online as well as offline students. Uh, today we are going to do reading a section of your paper. Fine, that is note making. So do not think this is a writing skill. No, this comes under your reading section. The way comprehension comes. Fine. So note making we have done it earlier as well if you remember. But uh, many days have been passed, so uh, you might miss any information. So why why there is need of note making? Firstly, let me tell you that. note making is required you know this world is full of knowledge now these are days we read a lot of articles a lot of information we skim through the information at google as well fine but it is not possible for all of us to remember each and every point and the details and all so just to remember the main points of the whatever you have read we need to make notes you remember i write value points when i teach you Fine. Why value points? Because it doesn't mean that only those value points are the part of the chapter, but they are like prominent points which we need to remember because it is not possible to remember each and every information. Fine. So some points which we which are the highlight of that content. Fine. So this is and you know there was a time when you, these days you see that uh, there are journalists taking interviews. They are directly recording through mobiles and gadgets and cameras and all. there was a time when technology was not that vast they would take notes only fine and it is not possible if you are recording an interview and every word the person is speaking you will be able to write and note down within short span of time so they would make notes only clear yeah? so uh, for this now note making is required to remember the main points of the any content whatever you have read so far so that's why we need to do note making clear uh now let me talk about the format of the note making fine and usually this is of 8 marks it can vary as well depending upon you have to read it carefully so the first and foremost thing we are going to do the format beta what is the format then one example i'll show you while sharing the screen in the format first of all comes title and you need to double underline it you will use the word title in itself clear suppose you got 3 4 paragraphs on how to save environment let's be very simple fine how to save environment or let let's talk about the current issue like how to prevent or how to safeguard yourself from covid suppose 3 to 4 paragraphs are written and the equation is make notes on this fine and you have to write the word title over there then you will use this colon and then you will write the title uh stay safe during covid days or stay home stay safe or but it should be like the prominent word which is highlighting the theme of the passages fine so how to uh, you can say save environment save life suppose in the case of saving environment so any you can take and three to four words avoid one word title three to four words should be there in your title and title word should also be written okay it doesn't mean ki aap seedha likh do save environment save life okay title word plus the topic or the whatever we are going to do that you will also double underline right now i'm not going to write anything because i'm just talking about the format clear after this is of one mark eight marks i have written in total so only title carries one mark if you suppose you do not write the word title you just write this you will get half a marks clear so accordingly you have to write one marks for this then after that now starts your sub headings title or heading one and same thing if i write a heading word over there so then starts your from the left side heading or sub headings you can uh, write accordingly still students are joining wait let me show you this on your screen as well see heading they have written on left side uh beta please come here all four of you also can join me here 
because I want to show you the screen and after that we will do. You will not be visible, don't worry, come here. Don't get scared of this. Only screen is visible to the students. So heading is there, but they have written on the left side, but you will write in the center. Find the way title word we have used for that. And then 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. These are the points or notes. Clear? So first subheading, second subheading, third subheading. Means suppose there are three paragraphs. So three subheadings will be there. Suppose there are four paragraphs, four subheadings will be there. It depends upon the content. But it does not mean if two paragraphs are given to you in note making, you will write two subheadings. No. Minimum three, maximum five subheadings should be there. It should not be eight to ten subheadings. No, over the board bhi nahi jana hai. And it should not be uh, stick to two. Wo bhi less ho jata hai. So minimum three to four. Four is the average uh, number. So four subheadings you should remember. And then 1.1 and notes, 1.2, 1.3. Sometimes subheadings or sub points are also there in that paragraph. Then you can do like this 1.3.1, 1.3.2. Further sub points bana sakte ho uske. Because iska part hai na ye. So that's why you have done like that. Is it clear? Fine. After that, uh, see the format. This is the format you can see. Fine. If title is written here, subheading should be, uh, you should leave the gap. Fine. And then you should write 1.1, 1.2. And if even sub points are there of that point, usko bhi ab space deke right side pe kar doge. Means when we look at the notes, this should be there. Clear? Similarly like that, one, two in that way. So there is a way we will do on the blackboard that will be more clear to you. See, this is correct posture is the title. You can see correct posture, fine title. But you need, they have not used the word heading or title. You will use it, clear? Then 1.1, place chair correctly for neck and back. And make sure the sentences and notes you are writing, they should be clear. After reading them, we should have an idea ki what is there in the content. short form Fine. Place chair correctly for neck and back. Don't hang legs. Exercise and abdominal crunches. Uh, choose chairs with support from upper back. So these points are getting us clarity, giving us clarity. Ki, okay, what is the correct posture? Next is maintaining flexibility to point two second subheading. Then 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Wrong position can cause wrist damage. Relax, wrist. See, this is the abbreviation. Regularly ki jagah pe, this is the abbreviation. Now the thing is, while writing the notes, we have to use abbreviations as well. Fine. In namaste position and stretch, rotate wrists inside and outside. Just have a look on the third one, preventing eye strain. So this passage is all about correct posture and health related and postures. Eye strain can cause dry eyes and fatigue. Keep computer screen at an optimal distance to prevent poor eyesight. Use good lighting. See, lighting ke liye bhi, again, they have used one abbreviation. A lock at a distance port every 20. How many abbreviations to be used now? The question is that minimum four, maximum six. Clear? Minimum four abbreviations, maximum six, but these abbreviations should be used while writing the notes, not in the title or heading. Avoid in the subtitles as well, but you try to use abbreviations while writing the notes. Now, after using the abbreviations, when your title is done, subheading is done, sub, sub points are also done, then you will draw, make a box. box you will make a box, fine. See, they have used six, six is the uh, uh, good number of uh, abbreviations, not more than that. Unhone use kiya tha correctly, use the expanded form also. The tell, the, tell us ki aapne kaun si. And you should also underline it. Suppose lighting word yaha pe use kiya, isko aap underline kar do. So that it is, or star dal do iske saath. You should know, we should easily perceive ki, okay, this abbreviation is used. Fine, correctly exercises, abdominal damage, regularly lightening and all. Fine. I will tell you how to write every, how to, and ka to symbol, symbol bhi use kar sakte ho. And ka symbol jo hote na, that also you can use. After that comes a summary. So let me tell you the division of marks. One marks title, three marks for notes, fine. And one marks for 
एब्रीविएशंस वन प्लस थ्री प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू इतना एक मुश्किल क्वेश्चन पूछा है मैंने हाँ वन प्लस थ्री प्लस वन दीक्षा फाइव एज इफ यू नो देर थिंकिंग एज इफ आई वॉज अ वेरी साइंटिफिक क्वेश्चन so one plus three plus one is equal to five so I have uh, girls with me in class so that's why we are interacting with online students you are missing this so you should join us to have this fun so uh, after that five marks are done now three marks are left where do those three uh, you can say marks will be adjusted here three marks a summary so whatever notes you have written in points you will expand in the form of sentences now. find desk users are at risk of losing flexibility mobility and wellness due to long working hours good selection of office chairs and proper use posture essential for neck damage to the wrists can be prevented by exercising them frequently eyes too are at risk see everything you have written in the notes they have expanded here do not copy paste from the passage bachche kya karte hain usme se utha lete hain you have to write in your own words you just expand the notes in the form of sentences and you will get your summary Fine. One should look away from the screen, and it should be up to hundred words, not more than that. Eighty words means one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, five to eight lines are sufficient for summary. But you cannot give heading here. In summary, you you just write in one line only. There are preventions as well, like dash dash dash, whatever you are writing in a running paragraph. No no headings are required in summary. so you have to write a paragraph paragraph writing karte the na choti classes mein so you have to write a crux of whatever is there in the whole chapter mein jaise hum aapko kehte na what is the theme of this chapter what is the message of this chapter that you have to write here you can sit fine online children is it clear is it clear now we are going to make the format on the board जल्दी से रिस्पॉन्ड ऑनलाइन चिल्ड्रन ओके सो यू आर सेइंग यस लेट्स स्टार्ट देन सो टाइटल सॉरी सब हेडिंग हियर आई हैव रिटन हेडिंग सब हेडिंग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ यू विल सिंगल अंडरलाइन ओके एंड देन वन पॉइंट वन नोट वट एवर यू आर राइटिंग वन पॉइंट टू 1.3 fine then second sub heading this is the format you have to make in your notebook i am going to see your notebooks as well 2.1 2.2 2.3 suppose you have more sub points of 2.3 suppose this has um, a lot of benefits mentioned uh, advantages mentioned and then what you will write you will uh, adjust it here on right side 2.3.1 2.3.2 and here you will write those points indented to right side okay it should be aligned sub heading sub points will be aligned in one सब सब पॉइंट्स विल बी अलाइंड ऑन दिस साइड ओके एक दूसरे के नीचे आने चाहिए सो दैट इज द ट्रू फॉर्मेट सिमिलरली थर्ड सब हेडिंग मिनिमम थ्री मैक्सिमम फाइव सब हेडिंग शुड बी देयर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन थ्री इसलिए मैं अवॉइड कर रही हूँ फोर सब हेडिंग्स लेके चलो बिकॉज दैट इज द आइडियल नोट मेकिंग इन विच फोर सब हेडिंग आर देयर एंड थ्री पॉइंट ईच टोटल ट्वेल्व पॉइंट हो गए फाइन if there is no sub sub points that you can avoid also it's not mandatory but if it is there in the content then you add it clear so third sub heading 3.1 3.2 3.3 these are the notes and these notes should reflect the whole passage it should be meaningful and use abbreviations in the notes as well okay after that when we are done you will draw a box साइड पे नहीं बिकॉज देर इज नो स्पेस वेन यू आर डन विद सब हेडिंग सपोज आप फोर तक बनाइए फाइन वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सब हेडिंग ऑल्सो यू राइट डाउन फोर सब हेडिंग फोर पॉइंट वन फोर पॉइंट टू फोर पॉइंट थ्री यहां तक हो गया देन की टू एब्रीविएशन दिस बॉक्स विल बी देर 
P to abbreviation, it should be in the box only. Minimum, you can say five only. Five will be fine. Now, how to write abbreviation? Sometimes children, you know, now the word is there. Suppose making word is there. I cannot uh, make the abbreviation of this word. This is a ing word, action word. Fine. You should basically, uh, you know, search such words in which they are uh, specifically they are nouns, and we can get. Uh, suppose doctors ke liye we have the abbreviation dr. Fine. But for teachers ke liye we cannot write tea. Fine. In that way, there are some words which cannot be converted into abbreviations. You have to be smart enough to make abbreviations. Even the screen I shared, they have chosen wrong words. Lighting ke liye bhi unhone abbreviate kiya hota na that is not correct. So what you can do and word is mostly easily found. So first is the symbol. Expanded version is and. This is always there almost, but it should be there in your passage. And word should be there, and you have to use abbreviation of the symbol. Then suppose there is word environment, fine, and you can use e n v dot for that. That seems to be correct. Environment. Then suppose the word is educationist, e d u or education. For that you are using e d u. Telephone के लिए t e l, fine. means it should be valid abbreviation you will be able to perceive ki okay ye word ka abbreviation ban sakta hai clear so first three letters you can choose if they are making any sense will you be able to find yes g o v s very good g o v t also you can use g o v or g o v t for government so this is one example it depends again what is there in the passage fine it should be valid abbreviation that's all ye na ho ki कम्स का आपने सी ओ लिख दिया नो ऐसे नहीं एसोसिएशन इज द वर्ड ए एस एस ओ और ए एस एस यू कैन राइट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का ओ आर जी फाइन इंस्टीट्यूशन अब स्कूल का नहीं बनेगा एस सी एच नो इंस्टीट्यूशन आई एन एस टी इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वर्ड यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ नाउ वन प्लस थ्री प्लस वन फाइव मार्क्स हो गए देन यू विल गिव दिंग समरी मार्क्स लेना इतना इजी नहीं है यू हैव टू बी हार्ड वर्किंग एंड स्मार्ट वर्कर एज वेल सो इन द समरी वट एवर नोट यू हैव रिटर्न हेयर यू कैन एक्सपैंड दम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सेंटेंसेस इट शुड बी अप टू हंड्रेड टू वन ट्वेंटी वर्ड्स फॉर थ्री मार्क्स वन पैराग्राफ ओनली यू हैव टू राइट हेयर फाइन राइट वन पैराग्राफ इट शुड बी क्रक्स ऑफ the whole passage given to you means by reading this summary one should be able to get an idea ki what is there in the three four paragraphs do not copy paste the lines from the passage write in your own words you can take the help of the notes to expand it i hope i am clear fine i will be sharing one passage in the group today and every one of you will do that okay uh or next test rakh lete hain uska today is wednesday tomorrow so tomorrow i am uh, okay tomorrow i will be sharing one passage with you all and you have to do test of note making only note making nothing else because that will be a practice if you commit a mistake only you will be able to find okay this is the Uh, area i need to work so in exams there will be less chance so it's a request last time also i just got 13 tests out of 25 and wo bhi bar bar reminder dene ke baad we have given you advantage because of your tuitions and your hectic schedules i asked you ki okay even if at 8 pm till 8 pm you can send me even then you people are taking it casually so this is for your own learning okay plus one b 13 out of 25 means 50% students have not appeared in the test and that test was of letter writing and you committed mistakes in that 
एंड दो गॉड टू नो के फाइन ये मार्क्स कट गए कोई बात नहीं वेन एग्जाम्स में यू पीपल विद पेरेंट्स आर स्टैंडिंग एंड लुकिंग एट योर पेपर हाउ डू यू फील देन छोटी सी गलती से मेरे टू मार्क्स चले गए माई पोजिशन एंड माई स्कोर एंड माई परसेंटेज सो लर्निंग इज नॉट वन डे गेम फाइन यू हैव टू लर्न ऑन डेली बेसिस सो एवरीबडी विल अपियर अस so today 20 students have attended this out of 25 this class and these 20 students will give the test plus those five who are absent they will watch the recorded lecture and they will have to so everybody will appear in the test of note making clear kitna ka syllabus hai aapka but even then you are taking so casually is it clear to all the students over here online children so everybody has to give the test okay show me your notebooks jaldi se format aap idhar se dikha do offline children can show me here it should be four sub headings and fine so yeah, very good so you have the habit of maintaining your notebooks now that's good online children show me your notebooks offline have already done the work if nobody is going to show me na that means though they are sitting free nothing they are noting uh, noting down who has done okay i have changed the setting sorry for that uh i stopped the video now you can show it beta now you can show it so we have sahajpreet gursimran even raghav is going to show to us yes raghav well done I really like the sincerity of this boy who is continuously learning at home never skipped a day of class really appreciate your efforts raghav okay that's really nice